If you've been following the FTX story over the last month or so at all, you know that Mr. Wonderful is just not that wonderful. Just when you thought Kevin O'Leary had hit rock bottom after the FTX collapse, he then joined CNBC this week and gets absolutely embarrassed. Honestly, it's probably time for the shark to hang it up. But first, please subscribe and like this video. Also comment your thoughts on Mr. Wonderful in the comment section below. I listened to the interview that Andrew did with him so at Dealbook, I. and I thought, that guy's a crook and a liar. You listened to it and said you'd invest money with him again if it turns out there's nothing criminally wrong here. So what did you hear that, that I didn't the hear? The context of that is I have been known for decades to invest in entrepreneurs have had catastrophic outcomes bad ones so let me get this straight his defense right there is he's been a bad investor and made horrible investments previously so we should excuse him on this one what a joke because they learn a lot from their mistakes it may not fit for sam bankman fried because we don't know the outcome what's going to occur yeah, but I, all i can say is everything he said oh i just didn't realize you didn't realize there was an eight billion dollar hole you didn't realize that there yeah, was like exactly. clients funds this that is, were being swapped over great. there it's not his fault like that, can... that to me is like man that guy has bad news that's not just you had bad luck he was lying and manipulating you don't know because you have I, no data I, I, all i'm saying is let's do the forensic audit I'm typically no fan of CNBC, but you got to give credit whenever it's due. This host actually held O'Leary to the fire here, which is very unusual for them to do, especially considering O'Leary's a pretty consistent contributor to her program and other programs on their channel. The one thing I wish she would have done better is actually call him out on being complicit with the FTX scandal itself, because as you can see, Business Insider says Kevin O'Leary will get his money back, according to him. He's trying to be a victim and play the victim card that he got money stolen, but that is not the case. The only person or people that actually lost money is retail investors that didn't necessarily always have the money to lose in the first place. Not 100 millionaires like Mr. Wonderful. Check out this next clip from CNBC later in the day where he actually gets called out on this specifically. This was FTX, you, you money that you got. I don't, I, don't you think, I don't think you should be singing the blues right now at all. Oh yes, I'm singing the blues. Why, because your 15 million didn't pay out that you, that's a lot of money hey, to be a paid spokesperson. It's a lot of money. You didn't yeah, have to do much for that. That's, per, that's found that's money. That's a different Kevin. decision. That's a different discussion. After all of the research I've done into FTX scandal and Kevin O'Leary in particular, I think he's a man of little integrity and honestly not a very good investor in the first place. The only reason he's an investor in the first place is because of his mommy who cracked the piggy bank for him. I'll leave you all with a meme that I saw today that I thought was pretty good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later.